everybody, this is Joanne, and today I have a special guest. This is my daughter, Amanda, who's a senior in high school and will be attending university in physics this fall. And uh, the reason why I brought her along is because today's author, I think, was aiming for her demographic when she wrote the book. Even though the book has a broad appeal for everyone, um, I think it's quite inspiring to young ladies who might or might even not be considering a career in science. So today's author is Maria Mayor, a world-renowned primatologist and also a National Geographic television host. Her book is Pink Boots and a Machete, My Journey from NFL Cheerleader to National Geographic Explorer. Now, we both have read this book, so I'm going to have Amanda tell you a little bit about it now. So, Maria started off as an NFL cheerleader for the Miami Dolphins when she was in college she kind of put off taking science classes. I think that a lot of people have this idea that, ooh, science is a little intimidating. By the end of college, she took a class in primatology, and she thought that that was really interesting. And she, in the book, she also says that she was watching Gorillas in the Mist one day, and she remembers thinking, this is what I want to do. This, this is so interesting. I want to do this with the rest of my life. I want to go live with gorillas in Africa. And so this book documents her journey from NFL cheerleader to world-renowned primatologist, and it tells us her adventures, and it's just so interesting. And I think it's pretty exciting that she actually discovered the world's smallest primate. So she had to do a lot of testing to figure out, indeed, was this the smallest? Is this a new species? So there, there's a little bit of science in the book, as well as the adventures and exploration. Um, she also has to uh, take some time to uh, explain some of the difficulties she encountered being a woman in science and uh, inexplicably why being an attractive woman in science is such a difficult thing. Uh, that there's an illogical perception out there that being an attractive female in science uh, means you're incompetent or incapable. Um, which uh, is not true at all, and she sets out to prove that in this book. So her book is full of a lot of adventures, a lot of danger. She's been bitten by snakes and spiders and uh, survived a plane crash, so I'm actually surprised she's still here <laughs> with all of these exciting things that happen. So clearly she's not merely a girly girl. Uh, she's also part tomboy, and I think that helped a lot. But I think generally that passion for exploration and for discovering at, at one moment that this is what I want to do and then taking the bold steps to pursue it was really, really exciting and inspirational. So, um, and Amanda and I, as we read the book, we both happened to like the very same part of the book. Uh, so most of the book is written in a very, very conversational style, very casual style, and I think that's really accessible to a large audience. But why don't you explain a little bit about the part of the book that we both really liked. We both really liked the part where Maria was climbing a mountain and she got to camp on the side of a mountain. And as terrifying as that sounds, it also sounds like a lot of fun. So I'm a bit jealous. The way that she described it was very beautiful. She put a lot of life into the description at that part and I think that that's what stood out to us the most. I, I agree. It does capture your imagination because very few of us live that kind of life. Uh, it's very exciting. So my question to you, Amanda, is would other young ladies your age uh, be inspired by this book and appreciate what Maria has to say? I say yes, definitely. This book puts across an amazing message. Like, if you put your mind to do something, you can do it. Um, I know that after uh, reading this book, I felt a lot more solid in my decision to attend college for physics. And I think that when a teen, like if a teenage girl reads this, she'll see that it's, it is possible to do what you want to do, just if you go for it. Maria seems very awesome, and, <laughs> and I think that if teenage girls read this, they would be inspired to do something 
more with their life. Yeah, something bigger with their life, something that where they can contribute. I think that's a very good message and very exciting. So I'm highly recommending Maria's book, Pink Boots and a Machete. I highly recommend it as well. Very good. All right. Thank you all for listening.